G'day everyone, Roy at Sunland Caravans. Welcome to what again is another beautiful day here in Brisbane. I've returned today, after quite a long hiatus, to actually show you off Paul and Alison's new caravan. Now, this is actually the first of the 23 model upgrades to look at. For specifications on this, you're really gonna to need to refer to the website because I'm gonna show you everything. Some of these things are standard, some of them are optional, and uh, we don't have time to discriminate between those things at this moment in time. So I just wanna show you over as much as I can, and then you can talk to the boys if you want to know any more information. So this has got the usual DO35 uh, hatch, the blackjack uh, electric leg, plus the winding leg. This has got the really big toolbox. Now, in this case here, they've opted, and I'll show you in a minute, They've opted to have the gas bottles on the other side, okay? So there's lots and, I say, lots and lots of things on this. In here, in the tunnel boot, they've gone for a really nice finish, but they've got some extra stuff in there. Again, when we go around the other side, I'll show you more about that. It has a standard, this electric awning. You've seen this before. They've got the two tables, one at the front and one at the rear. They have stuck with the airbag suspension. So this has got the Cruise Master auto airbag suspension on it. Look, haven't got time today to go through that, but that's just, again, another awesome thing that's on this particular van. Electric step, of course, is standard. We've got the outside entertainment system. Actually, Paul and Alison have already turned up. They're sitting inside waiting. I think they're, um, they're sitting inside to see what this all looks like themselves. So they haven't actually seen it yet. Okay, extra gas point on the, this side here. The instant hot water service, you've seen that before. This has got the gas heater installed. The two pumps, because you've got the three tanks on this, you've got your um, general purpose tank, you've got your fresh water drinking, filter ta tank and you've got your grey water tank. That's all plumbed up and of course red water valve. Don't forget on this van we're not wasting water because the heater, the gas heater, directly underneath the shower unit so once it goes through that red water valve which turns it around, by the time you turn that tap on there's very little wastage before the hot water comes through. Great feature. This here has also been added, these two bars on the back here um, you've probably seen these waste bags that they hang off the back of the caravans. They've opted to have it fitted already. So some of these things are so standard, some of them are optional. This has got the two 225 amp hour batteries, the LBS system, and the 3120 um, amp Victron solar regulator. It has got the camera up the top, and they've gone for the Jimmy Dean decal. If Michael can give you a look at that. I do like that Aboriginal theme. I, I love the fact that we got Jimmy Dean, who's an Aboriginal artist, to actually design that for us. And we've actually bought the license to be able to use that. So proper Aboriginal uh, artwork that's paid for, not some sort of artificial knockoff. They've opted in this van, again I'll show it shortly, but they've gone for a composting toilet and they've opted to have this additional hatch put on the outside, making it easier uh, access to get to that. There's your grey water tank released down there. As usual, your 190 and your 60 litre tank fillers on the side and your pressure filler. I never talk too much about this Raptor coat, but I've got to tell you, I've done a lot of travelling in the last 14 or 15 months since you saw me. And this type of finish I've not seen on a caravan anywhere else in the world. It really is absolutely superb. So moving down here, I mentioned that some other changes, this particular unit has had fitted the Y-Tie. Now, Y-Tie is an autonomous unit that um, allows you to connect up wirelessly to the electrics in the caravan, or certain electrics in the caravan. One of the things it does, it also has the ability to um, have an anti-theft system in it with motion detections inside the van. So if you're away somewhere, you've got that turned on and someone wants to break in your caravan, you're gonna have access to it. Again, I'll show you that in a second. This one here has also got your two one, um, 
your two uh, 90 kilo gas bottles. Extra shelf up there. This is actually a very nice toolbox. And I love the powder coating that we're doing. Let's, let, I'll tell you what, let's go inside and have a look because a lot of the changes that we've made for the 2023 model are actually in this van now to show you. Again, some are standard, some are optional. I can't not remind you that it has got that electric step and this electric awning. So when you pull up, it's just a question of pressing things up and down. This particular one has also got the blind built in on the door. And this is a security mesh screen. It's a triple lock uh, on the door as well. They're really good stuff, this. And since I've been away, there have been a lot of changes. A lot of the design stuff was done before I left, but I haven't actually seen it until this caravan's been built to actually see it and observe it for myself in the flesh. And I'm excited. Look, let's come in and let me show you some of these things. Now, I know you hear me a lot saying how excited I am, but truly, some of these things that we've done are exciting because they're, they're brand spanking new to us. And we've taken the things that we've developed over the years and just turned it into something really unique and special. One of the requests has been, what do I do with my damn shoes when I get into my caravan? Well, you know what? We've solved that one. And we've also sold it for the ladies that like to have lots of shoes on board as well. And we sold it by fitting in these foot lockers. So these foot lockers here, and you can see by the material just how thick and heavy that is. So it's gonna take the weight without any problems. These foot lockers allow you to have multiple shoes and they're both sides of the bed. To achieve this, we did raise the bed slightly. We've got these new design cabinets on the side of the bed. So this one here's got uh, additional shelves in it, plus the drawer at the base. What I particularly like about this, and I don't know if Michael can get this angle so we can really take advantage and show you, but we have been doing what we call CPAP provisions. It's become more than that now. So we've got this opening where there is 12 volt and 240 volt inside. So, you know, a lot of people are using iPads and iPhones and all that sort of stuff. They can all be tucked in there. A CPAP machine can go in there and that goes underneath that bottom shelf and actually makes that work really well. This is all now nice and flush. They've gone for this white with a black. I absolutely adore this. I think it adds an element to, uh, to this that's absolutely incredible. Just, you walk in here and there's this feeling. In fact, before we started videoing this, I said to Michael, are you sure this is only a 20 foot six fan? Because it's now looking like a 21 foot six fan. It's just so big and open inside. And I think that's because of these colors. So we have under the bed now, a large section there. Again, people were saying to me, there's nowhere to put large tables and chairs and things. Well, you know what, now there is because we've taken that bulkhead in here and put this scalloped area so you can use it. In this case, they've also put these trays under the, in this section here. So again, I don't know, shoes or whatever. So you don't have to open this up, but if you do, works really, really well and there's a bucket load of storage space. Because we raised the bed slightly, that's increased the storage at the front. Again, I really like that. Good quality struts. You'll also notice on the side of the bed, this has been fitted with a gas heater and the controls are at the bed head, as well as reading lights and those little mat pockets. So if there's things that you've got running in there like um, charging phones or iPads and you've still got papers, books, whatever, you can still put them in there so you don't put the two together. Putting something that's inflammable, something that's generating heat together is probably not a good idea. So we've covered that and separated it. Let me just now show you a little bit more about um, what we've done here in terms of the galley. So again, a lot of people are opting not to go for ovens. They've opted to go for two gas and one induction. I really like this unit. It looks really good, particularly when it's fitted to the Evo Stone bench top. And they've gone for this incredible marbled bench top. Now down the base here, you can see we've now gone for all this flush finish. You can no longer see the joins between them. It works an absolute treat. Because of this type of stove top, you've got additional storage 
in all these amazing spaces that's allowed us to do more and more things. Lots of little bits and pieces you can do there. And in here, they've gone for a slide out rubbish bin. I don't know, um, I hear less and less people concerned about rubbish bins. To me, it's a fairly big thing. What I don't like is when I go away, having to tie plastic bags and hang them, hang them off door handles or leave them on the bench top. So to me, the rubbish bin's actually a fairly big deal. I like that feature. This has been a dead area for a while. So doing all this with the change to this galley has allowed a lot better utilization of the space. I love the splashback, the acrylic splashback in that, that sort of gray color really suits it. Up here, stereo system, your water pumps, and this switch here, which is for the outside speakers. So you can isolate the outside speakers from the inside sound. You don't have to have both going at the same time. Touch lights again, we've got these LEDs hanging over the top. You can sort of change this around to get the, the amount of light you want. There's also a light underneath here. So this corner, which is a bit of a dark area, I guess, you can now just turn on the light and you'll get a lot more out of it. And as we spin around, Michael will be able to show you the motion detection for that white eye that I referred to, which is up there. He'll also be able to show you the NCE range hood, the NCE microwave, and the Access TV. So this has got the big TV with the a uh, NCE soundbar. I've mentioned this soundbar in the past. I really love that soundbar. It's it's a it's a really nice feature to have that. You get much better quality sound out of your television, and you can also use it for other purposes. It doesn't have to just be for um, for the TV. Now on the other side of the vans, we've got a Sirocco fan up here, an NCE fan over here and what's good about this one is because it's underneath the cupboards here it rotates so if you're sitting in this area you've got that air flow constantly going um, probably a little bit late to show you in the roof there but this has also got the air dust reduction system fitted in the roof it has a smoke detector it has got two of these fantastic hatches sitting at the table we've got the cross stitch or the uh, diamond stitch seats with these nice padded backrests here, the trifold table and your power board. Now what they've done with this one is they've covered this in leather to match the seat leather and I, I, again I think that looks really really neat. So you've got 240 volt power, you can um, check your water levels here, you've got your power for your inverter to turn your inverter on and off and also see what the current limits are there. Um, that's the state, uh, state of your battery and you've also got a USB and a 12 volt socket there. So all your power requirements are, are, are very nicely set up on this pod sitting on the uh, table. So I'll just take you in now to show you the other side which is the big Dometic fridge. This is fitted a standard with a gas detector. Now one of the other changes that they've made to this van, these guys really did know what they want, is they've put in the composting toilet system. And I, I referred to it before on the outside where it's got the big hatch for access. You've got your power um, trip switches up here and your solar isolation and you've also got your water heater control still up on this wall here. Plus you've got these two tower rails, a built-in light, a window up above the toilet and lots of storage in here plus all these additional drawers down here. Now because they've gone with this black and white they've also gone for the black tapware. Now you may have noticed that when Michael was scanning over the um, galley before but we've also got it in the ensuite tap and as Michael will be able to show you now inside the uh, shower unit itself you've got this black and white theme that continues along, including the drain cover at the bottom and the two um, storage areas at the back there. We've got these new 
patches. Um, I believe that they really have improved the mechanism. So you turn, instead of that handle before, which was problematic, you've now got this type of handle. I, I hope they're much better quality, because to be honest with you, there's not really been a supply of good quality hatches in the past in Australia. So I, I do hope these ones are better. I'm pretty sure of it, that's why we fitted them. Okay, concertina door, concertina door. Got to make sure I get that right, otherwise get ticked off by the wife. Uh, it's got the Ibis 4 air conditioner in the roof, which is going quite nicely, which even though it's a fairly warm day out there right now, typical Brisbane weather, Michael and I are doing this in relatively good comfort because that air conditioner is doing a great job. And it works even better because of the composite material that's been used on this caravan. Um, the only thing that this one doesn't have that would complete it as a hamburger with a lot would be the satellite system. They opted not to have the satellite system on it, uh, which, is, which is fine. Um, apart from that, you're seeing something that's fairly close to standard with a few tweaks and extra bits and pieces on it. I think the guys have done a fabulous job in my absence. In fact, I think uh, Taro's currently away. I think on his return, he may say, Dad, I think you need to bugger off again for a while because we were having too much fun without you. Who knows, you never know. Um, in the meantime, again, for sales inquiries, you can ring Michael or Taro. Best, probably on the landline number, 0754992250, or email them, sales at sunlandcaravans.com.au. Go to the website, www.sunlandcaravans.com.au, and book an appointment, which is truly the best way. If you want to come in and spend some quality time with these guys, learning about what we do, how we do, why we do, finding out about this fabulous chassis, which I didn't mention today, um, and all the other great things that Sunland's got to offer, go in there and book an appointment so you get dedicated time you know that, that that time's going to be spent. People just walking in the door are probably not going to get the quality of time because they, they'll be fitted between appointments. So just remember that. Um, and that's probably all there is from me today, except I hope to see you for the next video. Unless, again, Tarot fires me in the meantime. Ciao for now.